After 34 years, baby. After 34 years. What is going on, sneaker family? What is going on with the sneaker community, man? You got your boy Quana Don, aka Mr. Forensic, aka Mr. Queasy, coming at y'all with another sneaker forensic video, man. If you are unfamiliar with my channel and you're unfamiliar with my videos, man, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, and ring that bell for notifications to stay up to date with my most upcoming videos, man. You feel me? Get familiar with me. Get familiar with me. I do sneaker content. I do content on sneakers. If you love sneakers, you're going to love it here. Come join the family, man. But anyway, as y'all saw, man, we do got those Jordan 3 Fire Reds in hand, man. So I was able to pick a pair up from Finish Line from the exclusive access. Thank God. So <laughs> stay tuned. I forgot. Stay tuned. Here they go right here, man. Boom. You feel me? You feel me? Clean. Very clean, man. So as y'all seen, I did take them out the box. I don't really gotta show y'all box. Y'all know what the box is looking like. Y'all know what the box look like. I'm pretty sure y'all watch a million videos on that, man. So we're gonna cut to the chase. But we did get this, which is cool, man. They starting to put in a lot of our Jordan releases, man. Especially the OGs, man. You do have this pamphlet, which was also a original pamphlet that came with the Jordan 3's original release back in 1988. And it does give you a breakdown of the sneaker and its creation layer by layer. So that is definitely dope. We did have some pairs that was retro back in 2007 and 2013, although they did not have that Nike branding. They had the Jordan brand on the back, which wasn't so bad. It wasn't bad, but I mean, nothing's better than the original OG look. You feel me? Definitely a clean shoe, man. So we do have a all white leather upper. So we do have that tumbled leather with those cemented, printed, cemented, <laughs> cement printed overlays. We do have the cement printed overlay in the front of that toe box there, as well as on the back of that heel under that Nike logo, we do have that cement printed um, elephant print okay which is a clean look man and we do have those fire red accents all over the shoe um, on the tongue as well as on the back of the tongue and then we do have that fire red accent that is on the back collar of the shoe right behind that tab there as well we do have that fire red, looks so clean, man, as well as on the inner insole of that shoe. We do have that fire red colorway as well with that Nike branding on the insole, baby. Yes, sir. Uh, and then we also have some fire red on the shoelace outlets as well as on the lower part of that shoelace, on the shoelace outlets as well, right before you get to that toe box there. And then we do have some on the back heel, that fire red that comes halfway, well, fully across the midsole. So all the way across the midsole, right before you reach that toe box area. And then on the lateral side of the shoe, we do have that fire red halfway. And then we have the rest is white on that midsole. So definitely a clean look, man. Definitely a clean look. This shoe alone, man, talks volumes. This shoe alone speaks a lot, man. Uh, Michael Jordan did earn a MVP honors in this sneaker as well as the slam dunk champion and the def defensive player of the year. So this is a big deal, not only to us sneakerheads, not only to us sneakerheads or the newest sneakerheads, 
or the Jordan fans or the, but you do have OG sneakerheads out there. OG sneakerheads. So this shoe was a big deal. So a lot of people knew about this shoe coming out. Um, I definitely felt like it was gonna sit a little longer, but hey, you know, we can't know everything. It was a opinion. I thought, that was my guess, that these would sit a little longer based off of the previous releases. However, man, this is a OG colorway. And as I said, it hasn't released since 1988 in its original form. So um, that definitely is a big deal. And um, Jordan 3s are definitely loved by many. So I would say this is a top five of when, when it comes to Jordan silhouettes. Yes, it's top five. My opinion. I don't know about everybody else's. My opinion, I feel like Jordan 3s are definitely top five as far as Jordan brand silhouettes, man. So it's definitely a big deal when you have a OG colorway of a Jordan 3 release after 34 years in its original form. That is a big deal. So um, I did see them selling out, but I didn't see them selling out as quick as they did. We did have some previous GRs because this was a major GR. So we did have some previous GRs that sat. I mean, they're still sitting. However, like I say, this is a original colorway. So, um, yeah, I definitely underestimated it quite a bit. Um, but, I mean, it's dope. It's dope to be able to have them in hand. Yo, it's definitely clean. Definitely clean shoe. Um, that's all I could say, man. Definitely a clean shoe, man. Oh, yeah, and I definitely did forget to mention that gray that's in the sock liner as well as um, on the tongue as well. So the tongue and that little area of the tongue right here, um, you do have your gray as well as on the upper half of the shoe where it is displaying gray on the sneak eyelids as well. So sorry about that if I did forget to mention that. Um, and then on the bottom, we do have our red as well as our gray, white, our white and then we do have the original nike branding on the bottom of that sneaker man so it's definitely dope get y'all a clean look um and um the leather's definitely decent i'll say the leather's pretty decent on these man the leather's really very better better man so i mean even with even with this shoe releasing um i didn't think it would do as good as it did because of the fact that we previously did have uh, the Cardinal 3s, which are very similar to these um, as far as, you know, that red color or a colorway or, or the color blocking of the sneaker. Um, I did see those um, keeping a lot of people from purchasing this, purchasing this shoe uh, because of the colorway. Uh, it's very, very similar to the Cardinal 3s. However, even with that Cardinal 3 releasing, I don't even know why they released the Cardinal 3s when they had these coming out. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know because it's very close um, as far as that colorway go. But hey, they did it anyway. I don't care. I didn't get the card. I wasn't able to get the Cardinal 3s, but I'm glad I was able to cop these. So hey, went for me, man. But. Um, Y'all hit me up in the comment section, man. Let me know if you cop, if it was a W for you, if it was an L. I've seen a lot of people taking L's on this shoe, um, as well as W. So, um, you know, hopefully they get a restock going for y'all, man. And everybody's able to purchase this shoe. I mean, I want us all to win. That's how I want it to be. Like I said, it was a major GR. I don't want to go back to that time where it was so hard to get a GR, like as if it was an exclusive. That was a hard time for me, trust me. I, I did not like it at all, man. But, um, yeah, man, y'all hit me up in the comment section. Let me know all of your experiences with trying to cop this shoe. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and check out of here, man. As I said, and as I always say, it's more of an experience to hate sneaker family. I love y'all from the top of my heart to the bottom of my soul. Quick game. And we up out of here until the next one, baby. Peace.